Um, yeah. So speaking of, uh, also of that show, I was showing off some variant covers on, uh, on, uh, on the house of Bob and, you know, I, I also want to share the love here, but of course it's like, I could only show, um, uh, the, the basic, uh, the, the basic covers that I'm working on right now. Like I said, I've been extremely busy, uh, these past couple of months, weeks, days, you know, and, uh, I'm working, like I said, I'm, I'm working on finishing Eager Raven issue seven. And I'm also working at the same time on the Eager Raven one shot that I'm working on the Conan parody of the Unicorn King's daughter. And just the other day, I just finished, um, uh, another, uh, variant cover. Uh, for that campaign. So I'm like I said, I'm slowly working on two campaigns at the same time. So for those of you who missed it, for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, uh, this is the brand a brand new variant cover that's going to be available on uh, that uh, campaign coming later on uh, this year, somewhere around fall 2023. So look at my beautiful son, uh, Werewolf Loki, on that cover. I just had to do it. Um, it just was something that popped into my head. And it's like, you know what? That's kind of the beauty of me being able to just do my own work uh, and not having to pay for people to do it because I could do it myself. Is that if I think of a variant cover within three hours, I have a new variant cover for the campaign. So uh, if you're into collecting my artwork and you like variant covers, as always, all my variant covers will be available as a, a regular edition a virgin edition it doesn't have the trade dress on it so you just look at the you just you can just see the artwork comes in a hollow edition and a silver uh, outline edition it's, it's just my pen and ink on uh silver uh, on silver paper which is just absolutely beautiful I, I just love the way these these covers come out so this is the latest one for that campaign the unicorn king's daughter and uh, oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, I I, I thought it was. You yeah, know we can't. Yeah, do that. you know. Yeah, you know we can't show that picture. If you want to see, yes, there is a variant cover. There is a variant version of this cover. Unfortunately, if you want to see it, you have to go watch House of Bob, uh, Saturday's House of Bob, to see the variant cover on this. I am just sharing this piece with those of us who you know are not into like seeing, you know. House of Bob, or, or for some reason you can't, or whatnot. So I just want to show it off, and also for people who are not following me on on Facebook. So, um, so yeah, if you want to see the other version of this cover, go yeah. ahead and watch catch uh, House of Bob um, uh, from from uh, yesterday. No, Saturday, Saturday. Today's Monday. I keep for a split second. I thought it was Sunday again. What the hell so, are we doing live on a Sunday, Dad? Yeah, I know. Really. You yeah. know, but uh, but here's the thing. So I did this variant cover. Okay, so you know maybe everyone can help me with something here. So I did this variant cover, and the thing is though, I have two more variant covers that I'm finishing for this campaign. I figure once I'm done with these two covers, that's it. There's a lot of variant covers on uh, on this uh, this campaign that I'm doing, and. Let, let me show you, give everyone an idea as to what this, this campaign uh, is going to look like uh, once it goes live. So, so I started making a menu for the amount of, for the variant covers that I'm going to have for this campaign. Now, uh, the Unicorn King's Daughter is going to be, uh, it's a two, actually a two comic set uh, campaign. It's the Unicorn King's Daughter, which is the Conan parody, parody book. And then for those of you who are not into like, you know, who want something a little bit more safe for work, then we have Tales from the Outer Kingdoms, which is a collection of all the short stories that have appeared in previous campaigns as stretch goals. And now that the, now they're all collected, they're going to be collected in one uh, issue uh, so far of what I have. When I Once I get enough short stories together, I'm going to put them all, collect them all in one trade. Uh, but for now, we're putting out individual issues. So as you can see, um, the, the cover for this particular book is going to have, like I said, the Virgin, the Hollow, and the uh, Silver Edition along with the main cover. So this, this particular one just has one, you know, has just has the one cover set. 
but as we go down the list, so and so here is the main cover for the other book, The Unicorn King's Daughter. So this is the parody book. So as you can see, it, they all have the same they all have the same covers and depending on which cover you get is uh you know what uh you know is, is what you know you're, you're paying depending on what uh the cover is now here's the thing though. so then i started adding all the extra variants that i was putting in so here is one of the previous variants that i've showed off on the show before so this one is again a special you know it's just an alternate cover to the same book unicorn king's daughter you can get it uh uh, you, you can get it, you know, in these uh, variants as well, including a nude variant, uh, which is technically this, this one's one, my favorite. This, this this one's my favorite too. I, I really do. I actually printed out one, and I have one hanging uh, in my office um, here. So I have this variant cover now already. Uh, for those of you who could do math really quickly, already we're talking four, eight, twelve right? 16 variant covers, right? But the problem is this isn't the only cover. So now you have this cover, right? Which uh, is coming with the, the other variants. With, yes, it right? is. You know, it's coming with this variant. You have this. <laughs> and then of course you have the other variant, <laughs> which has another four covers, you know? Ooh. And and then it's like, and then we're not done yet. We're not done yet. So but wait, there's more. there's more. We also have the adult only supplement, the actual medieval unicorn Viking slut uh, uh, supplement, which I've decided is going to be another separate short. This is going to be another short story. It's not connected to the other story, but it's going to be another uh, parody, but it's going to be a full on porn parody. The other one is more like a show, show more like a soft R rating. This one is going to be the X rated one for everybody who wants to, to buy mm -hmm. that separately. Uh, it's going to be its own story. So as you can see, we have the four covers for that. And then, of course, there's the nude version that uh, that also has another four covers, right? And I'm not done yet. Like I said, there's two more covers that I'm working on to complete uh, the whole set of all these variant covers. And here's my question. And mind you, there might be one more, too as uh -oh. well uh there might be one more because i don't know it's like you know it depends on how Jaden is feeling about this project we don't know if we're going to get a Jaden cover or not um i would like one but it depends on what her schedule is looking like uh she's becoming quite the artist to go to uh nowadays but so now i have all these covers and i'm not done yet and the question is is like <laughs> am i overreaching <laughs> is it too much at what point is it too many covers at the point nobody buys any of them okay all right i think that's fair enough <laughs> you know um you know because it's like i just because it's like i've seen some campaigns where it's like all they offer is just the uh, <laughs> yeah exactly thank you you know i didn't think that we had to tell everybody you know, to remind everybody that it's like every, all the pieces, all information that we give is a combination of literally our opinions and what we've experienced firsthand. And we're just passing the information along. Um, where I, I by no means consider myself an expert on anything. Um, and also your mileage may vary. Things that work for me may not work for you. Things that work for you might not even work for me. So, what might be right for you might not be right for some. It's the right. facts of life, bitches. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, so it's like I didn't think that I needed to to explain that, but you, you know what? It's like whatever. It's we have to explain everything, really. So it's like so so here I am trying to figure out this campaign, and it's like, and I'm beginning. Well, and I was beginning to get a little worried. You know, like what, like, like chat, like when you see a campaign with this many variant covers, is it a turnoff? Do you like the artwork? Is it all about the artwork? Like, it's like, well, as long as I like the cover, I'm going to buy a, a book. You know, it's like, because after this menu is done, I don't know if I want to put it up on my campaign like this, because it's a lot like it's literally going to be its own scroll on the campaign before you even hit the actual scroll that 
explains the book and whatnot. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> we absolutely have to explain shit. Yeah. We got to cunt explain. Yeah, exactly. Really. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that word. Um, so, yeah. So, as you can see, this is the cover that if you want to see the uncensored version of it, you have to go. You have to watch House of Bob uh, to see it. But, uh, yes, I am very pleased with this cover, I might say. <laughs> I make I make beautiful sons. <laughs> Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Um. So, oh, what what did he say what, about the ice he cream? He said it's like going to the ice cream store, too many flavors to choose from. Right. But, but, it, but, but you eventually do choose a flavor, don't you? Absolutely. <laughs> You're here, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, but you do choose a flavor eventually, you know? So, um, morning, Joe. And good morning. And, uh, you know, so that was just my concern. So, so I, I guess. Can everybody agree that it's like it's only too many covers if nobody buys them? That's it. I mean, seriously. Right. You know, because it's like I, I'm getting a little self-conscious about this looking at this list. <laughs> so, I, I, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep go. I'm just going to keep going the way my original plan was. Finish the other two images and then... You know, in the end, it's like this this campaign, the Unicorn King's Daughter, is an experiment where I'm taking everything that I'm learning from so many places about like Kickstarter, what does well on Kickstarter and this, that, and everything. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. You know, um, and and pretty much I'm putting it together in this one campaign to see it's like, okay, uh, what works, what really doesn't work, what really actually works. Um, and, you know, and you know what, it's like, look, for a project that started off as a joke, um, thank you, thank you, um, if, for, for a project that started off as a joke on Facebook, um, I'm having a blast with this. It got this. serious real quick. I, yeah, it got serious really quick. Oh, because I also showed off the first eight pages of the comic, um, also on House of Bob as well. So if you want to see a preview of the actual pages, uh, which unfortunately you guys won't really be seeing until I'm close to, to finishing it. And even then, you know, only until the, the it, it's actually, you know, fulfilled, you'll get, you guys will actually see pages. Um, you know, I'll give previews and stuff, but like I said, this is, uh, this particular project, uh, Unicorn's King Daughter is, um, you know, it's kind of not safe for work. So, and the supplement, yeah, and the supplement is definitely going to be not safe for work. Oh, okay. So, oh. you know, yeah. So, um, you know, so it's not, you know, so I, I can only give previews, but if you want to see those first six pages, um, as I'm working on them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know what? I like that. The campaign's not right unless it, it has 31 flavors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, so, so, okay. So I'm feeling a little better about this then. Everybody seems to like the idea. I guess, you know what? You guys really like the covers. You like the images. So I guess as long as you guys like the images, the, the variants are kind of like, you know, you, you guys are going to buy well, what you're going to buy. Look, right? it's a, but, like, yeah. No, whether one sells, or, well, I mean, I'm sure more than one will sell, but if, right. if there's one that doesn't, here's the deal. You're the fucking artist, so you're not out anything anyway. So well, that's true. It's yeah, a it's a good for you. Yeah. So it's like, no matter what happens, um, you know, I'm, I'm, now, I'm these still guys ahead. that pay four to six hundred dollars for a cover, right? That yeah. Zero backers, right? Man, that sucks to be them, but right? You know, yeah, it, exactly. It's I mean, yeah, because here, no matter what happens, I have all this cool ass artwork yeah, that right. I can still do stuff with for later. So, yeah, okay. So at least, okay. So I don't, That's I don't feel. Bad, uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Very luxurious. <laughs> very luxurious um so yeah okay so at least i don't i don't feel so bad um about it so 